Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you for watching this video. I'm driving with no hands. Yes, that's, that's correct, but you know, my car's like basically drives by itself. So, in this video, I want to talk about what exactly is a general surgeon because I get this question all the time, and I'm sure you know it's a reasonable question because general surgeon it sounds pretty vague to me like are you even a surgeon like do you even know anything about medicine or is that like a joke uh you know um title so uh let me tell you first a little bit about surgery and medicine and stuff and the kind of specialty so back in the day uh really you just had like a doctor right the doctor wasn't specialized in anything he was just like special that was his specialty he was a doctor and he was specialized in humans Okay, and then, of course, uh, like there was barbers which were different, and they were um, essentially the barbers like evolved into surgeons, like they were one and the same for a while, for whatever reason. It's kind of weird, but anyway, so you had this surgeon and you had a doctor, and the surgeon did like everything. It was a general surgeon. He did the generals in like the entire body. But as more, as we became more familiar and we had more information about each organ system, then surgeons started to specialize in, de in different uh, systems. And so there became, you know, a neurosurgeon for the brain, and there became a cardiac surgeon for the heart, and there became a thoracic surgeon for the chest, and a vascular surgeon for the blood vessels. Okay, so then as each one of those surgeons starts peeling off its own specialty and there becomes more and more information to understand and know and you know um, be able to comprehend to operate and keep up with all all the information and make sure that you do the best kind of practices in each specialty then um, it became becomes more and more unlikely that one person can't do all of those things and so the general surgeon is what's left of the old time kind of surgeon who did everything and so he doesn't generally do heart he doesn't do lungs uh, he doesn't uh, do neurosurgery brain surgery uh, blood vessels and stuff like that so the general surgeon and it's kind of weird because there's different types of general surgeons also and I'll explain to you why that is the general surgeon will do uh, mostly abdominal surgery. Uh, some guys do uh, chest surgery. Some people do neck, say like thyroid, parathyroid. Uh, some do endocrine, pancreas, adrenals. Um, some do breast, so a general surgeon may do breast surgery. That's a big part of general surgery as well. And then like what we call the lumps and bumps or you know things underneath the skin in the soft tissue a lot of the general surgeons do that as well. But let me tell you a little bit about residency. Now this general surgery residency is five years and what you do through in general surgery is you rotate through different uh, surgical specialties. So for instance, my first uh, year, my, my intern year, I did like two months of trauma surgery. I did uh, like one month of colorectal surgery. I did one month of maybe two months of plastic surgery. I did, um, geez, what else? I did like four months of trauma. I did like a month of, end, or two months of endocrine surgery, which would be thyroid, parathyroid, uh, adrenals, uh, things like that. The second year, oh yeah, I also did critical care. So we did like two months of critical care. Another phone call. Dr. Parker. Hello, Dr. Parker. Hey, Buck. How are you? Yeah, good. What's up? Hey, um, I got this kind of second head. I just want to confirm that you got rib fractures, yes. uh, thoracic epidural. You guys want that, right? Yes, correct. Awesome. I'm putting it in now. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye. Yeah, so during the first year, I also did critical care. We did that for like two months. My second year, I did cardiac surgery, cardiac critical care, um, transplant surgery, um, more trauma surgery. So you see how each year you do different types of surgery and so the general surgeon gets exposed to a lot of different types of surgery in, 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 for instance cardiac surgery or transplant surgery but you don't end up doing that as your specialty in every day well you do a lot um, as general surgeons and, and that you know d depending on what kind of um, experience you get as a resident um, 
and what you feel comfortable with and what kind of experience you then uh, have out in the community or what type of practice who you're joining, like other general surgeons, you may pick up different uh, types of surgery. For instance, um, in my residency, we had lots of trauma and we had a lot of emergency surgery. And so um, I went and did private practice for a little while and it was mostly elective hernias and gallbladders and things like that. And although we did a lot of those, we didn't do a lot of elective surgery. And so I was more comfortable with the emergency surgery stuff than honestly the elective surgery. And I did a limited amount of breast surgery. So now I really, you know, it's not one of my favorites and I didn't have a lot of a big experience. And so I didn't feel that comfortable doing a lot of breast surgery unless I had somebody to continue to teach me outside of residency. And sometimes that happens too. You may you do your general surgery residency, you join a practice, there's guys that are different, or, you know, surgeons, I assume you can say guys, because there's lots of women that do this too, obviously, but there's people that can teach you different techniques in surgeries once you're out of residency as well. And as long as you have somebody that, you know, you're confident with that, that can do this, you get enough of the operations in, and then you you know, you can do it by yourself uh, without somebody else helping you so not necessarily every surgeon every general surgeon surgeon is going to do every general general surgery operation does that make sense so basically there's a lot of different types of general surgeons but for the majority of general surgeons another phone call dr parker dr parker hi dr parker this is so the x-ray was done. I don't know what the radiology has read. The tech seemed to think it was in there, but he is gagging on the tubing that's in his, um, the back of his throat and kind of, it's, right, you can just, visually okay. see it in his mouth. Okay, forget it. Just pull it out. Fine. Whatever. Just you, pull it out. Pull it just out. go ahead and pull it out? Pull it out. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. So there are a lot of different types of general surgeons, I guess is what you're saying. But the, for the majority, let's say the majority of general surgeons in a smaller community, which is not a university hospital, they will do hernias, like inguinal hernias, abdominal hernias, gallbladders, appendix, small bowel obstruction, uh, colon surgeries for colon cancer and diverticulitis. Um, and diverticulosis and then a lot of people do the um, esophageal wraps called a nissen fundoplication that's for reflux disease a lot of guys do that and then you'll have some people that do a lot of breast as well so that's uh the the main mix oh and the soft tissue stuff so like if you have a little a lipoma or a lump and bump and, and you want something taken off your skin or underneath the skin that's what most general surgeons uh, do like on a daily basis and then you kind of have so that's like the uh, medium sized uh, communities and hospitals and then if you get into a, like a bigger uh, community or a hospital or a university hospital those guys typically have a different practice and and many of those people will do emergency general surgery and trauma which is also called acute care surgery is kind of termed and that takes care of all the emergency stuff in that hospital and then some general surgeons in there will be very specialized and only do hernias or only do breasts but he's still a general surgeon so as you can see it's not exactly like a one sentence answer uh, what is a general surgeon but hopefully that gives you a really good idea and maybe if you want to go into any of those things and maybe you should look into become a general becoming a general surgeon so that's it for this video i hope you guys like it if you do you should share these videos with your friends that might be interested in becoming a general surgeon or interested in knowing what a general surgeon is and like the video and then do the subscribe thingy and then I will be your friend. <laughs> See you in the next one.